Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. I asked a simple question in the channel community tab, and that question was, where would you like to live on the map in Red Dead Redemption 2? And wow, did you people have a lot to say on the matter. So much that we had to break this into a series of videos by region. Finally, Arthur has made it to Saint Denis. Arthur may hate Saint Denis, the crowds and the pollution, but as for me, I love it here. I love the culture and the architecture of the city. The city has everything I want, atmosphere, theaters, interesting people, and as I said in my original comment, excellent coffee and great Wi-Fi. Here are your thoughts and comments on Saint Denis and the state of Lemoyne. Let's get started. Rossi T writes, Probably Saint Denis too, or Strawberry, because they are the safest places on the map, I think. Safe in the game is a relative term, friend, when you think about it. Outside of camp, everyone and everything is out to shoot you, arrest you, or eat you. But I know what you mean. You can lose yourself in the crowds of Saint Denis. There is safety in numbers. Moving on. Chap in NYC comments. Would definitely have to be Saint Denis. Reminds me so much of New Orleans, which I visited for the first time this past December. I spent lots of time in Saint Denis. It has a bit of everything. You are correct on both counts, friend. I immediately thought of New Orleans the first time Arthur rode into town. It is a French city in the south, with that lovely jazz trumpet street musician as a soundtrack, and especially that above ground cemetery on the edge of town, which has to be one of my favorite locations on the map, right by the old horse glitch. Well done, friend. Dr. Watka619 has this to say. Braithwaite Estate seems like the perfect spot for me. Love the long stretch of trees leading towards the mansion. Being near roads as well is the icing on the cake. I love the clay-colored soil and greenery. Have to agree, friend, that tree-lined entrance to the manor is so iconic. As I said in a previous video, we have seen that scene in so many movies from Gone with the Wind to Interview with a Vampire, two of my favorite films. Granted, we would have to move in before Chapter 3, if you know what I mean, and the neighbors aren't exactly friendly. Well done, and thanks for your comment. Nancy W. simply writes, I would like to live in Saint Denis. Me too, Nancy. Me too. There's no place like it on the map. Two serious dogs comments. Saint Denis, for sure. I'd never venture out of the city neither because them night folk are what nightmares are made of. Worse than the Skinner brothers and right up there with the Murphy brood. Well, you're not wrong there, friend. Those night folk are super creepy. Have you noticed how they never speak or make any noise? So scary. I never go to Lake at night unless I'm ghost hunting. But I would have to say the Skinner brothers are at the top of that list for me. But the less said, the better. Thanks for your comment, friend. Let's move on. Stony Boy writes, The Aberdeen Pig Farm. Well, I have to agree, friend, it's a great piece of real estate, also conveniently close to the staples, and I hear you can get it for cheap now, it might be foreclosed. The original owners mysteriously vanished. We might have to ask Arthur if he knows anything about that. A great location, and thanks for your comment. Ryan N. writes, the mayor's house or Hamish's cabin? The mayor's house because it's nice and luxurious and Hamish's cabin because no Skinners or Murphy Brood or Night Folk and it's peaceful. No reason you can't have both, Ryan. You can go up to O'Cray's Run on the weekends or when the pressures of city life get too overwhelming and you need some peace. That sounds like a great setup. Well done, friend. Odin writes, Rhodes, but after the Vanderlyn gang, weaken both families. Nice town, like my second choice Valentine, but is very close to the big city, Saint Denis. I'm glad Rhodes was included. I really like Rhodes. It's such a contrast to Valentine in Chapter 2. Also, that first ride into town with Archibald is one of my favorite moments in the game. Thanks for your comment, friend. Moving on. Giovanni S., very active in the premiere chats and in the comments, simply writes, For me it has to be Saint Denis because it is a civilized city. 
Very civilized Giovanni, and what about that magnificent cathedral? Right next to the gun shop, which seems ironic, but okay. Always great to see you at the premieres, friend. Moving on. Marcellus B. simply says, San Denis, ooh. I will admit that the city is not to everyone's tastes, but the great thing about this game and the map is there is some place for everyone. Let's move on. Iris B. writes, on a ranch near Rhodes, some of that civilization, but also nature. That might work, Iris, but I wouldn't want to be too close to the swamp because, you know, gators, night folk, ghosts. Lots of egrets, though. That might be a selling point. Well done, friend. Retro Rough writes, I would love to live in San Denis because it is a big city. Have to agree, Retro, the biggest city in the game. However, also with a cop on every corner. Everything's a compromise. Thanks for your comment and moving on. Alexander Yu comments, I would have to say the house slash ranch that's near the Civil War battlefield. It only appears in the epilogue because it seems so peaceful whenever I roam around those parts and Shady Bell is basically around the corner, so I get to kill Lemoyne Raiders, those annoying sons of bitches, and another great thing is Rhodes is just there, and San Denis is also just there, so easy money. Also, Hillhaven Ranch is not that far away from the house, so I'll just steal their cattle. And it's a great hunting spot for deer, rabbits, and panthers. And I think if I go a little south, I'll be at the river, so fish for days. Have a great day or night, all of you. Very well said, Alexander. I think you covered all the pros and cons in your comments. Well done. I think the only aspect I would include is the heat. Some might find the region intolerable, but I think you and I would be just fine in that environment. Moving on. Weston H. writes, Rhodes, General Store, Gunsmith, Everything You Need, Blackjack, Piano, Lemoyne Raiders to Fight, or Clemens Point or Near There, or Anywhere in Scarlet Meadows. Just wish Rhodes had a barber. You are correct, Weston. Rhodes does need a barber, though it is just a short stage or train ride into Saint Denis for a haircut. You could make a day of it. Maybe stay for dinner and a show and see if you can score a free Black Arabian. That would make for a fine ride home. Well done, friend. J Mac writes, Personally, I am a city boy. When I met my wife over 20 years ago, she was a country girl. I took her to the city, and now 20 years later, she cannot imagine living life outside of the city. Our work, shopping, restaurants, and most importantly, pool tables and bars with lots of screens are a walk away. Makes a great night out on a date and lots to do with the kids living in the city. That's why I choose San Denis all the way. Cheers, Super Antonio. You are the best. Well done, friend, and I have to say, you are the best. And congratulations on 20 years with your lovely wife and fine family. You've been with the channel for a while, and I really appreciate all of your comments. Have to say, I agree with pretty much everything you said here. And to quote your comment, San Denis all the way. Nicely said, friend. Moving on. Cameron XP comments, for me it would be roads. Yes, there are Lemoyne Raiders to worry about, but other than that, you have the lake right beside you. Warm weather and the town is in good shape. Yes, Cameron, that lake is gorgeous. Clements Point has a great view. The Lemoyne Raiders are a minor inconvenience, but compared to the Murphy Brood or the Skinner Brothers, they seem downright civilized. Well done, friend. Joshua H. simply writes, San Denis or Blackwater, as I like the scenery. You know, Joshua, those are the only two areas of the map that have cobblestones, and I really like hearing the clop-clop of horse hooves on cobblestones. Such a pleasant sound. You know, I think the horse likes it as well. Moving on. Alex W.'s comment made me laugh. Most definitely not in San Denis. God forbid I'd bump into someone... Probably it would be Lagrasse, so I could hunt those night folk, and I have a score to settle with that ghost. Very true, Alex. San Denis does get crowded at times, and for all that is said about the hustle and pace of city life, you really have to slow down, because events can escalate quickly with so many NPCs around, and it can rapidly spiral out of control. 
Well done, friend. Moth Arch Enemy, a great username that made me smile, simply wrote Tahiti. Interesting choice, friend. I included this comment here because Chapter 4 is where Dutch gets the idea of Tahiti. And we have that great line where Arthur asks, Does this trolley go to Tahiti? However, technically, the only tropical place on the map is Guarma, which may be an option. I do love the beach. Moving on. Dutch Vanderland comments, Sandney, that is civilization. Yes, indeed, Dutch in all of its glory. Thanks for your comment, and sorry about your head. And finally, Soup Time, another username that always makes me smile, simply writes, where Hamish lived, by the lake or in Saint Denis. Very well said, friend, and I do believe that would be optimal. We have the serenity and nature of that beautiful cabin on the weekends, and then the excitement and culture of Saint Denis for the working week. Well done, friend, and thanks for your comment. This video is sponsored by my Instagram at the Super Antonio. If you enjoy my editing style and quirky, very understated sense of humor, you will enjoy at the Super Antonio on Instagram. If you would like to submit your Red Dead Redemption 2 artwork or screenshots of your horses or Arthur or John's outfits, you can email me at reddeadsuperantonio at gmail.com. You can find my email on the About tab of the channel page. If you have a Twitter, you can add me at Red Super Antonio. I am not super active on Twitter, but I will follow you back. If you are on PS4, you can find me at Super Antonio underscore capital Y capital T. And finally, we now have a Discord server. Friend me at Super Antonio hashtag 7376 for an invite. And many thanks to all of you for your thoughts and comments on this subject. I do love Arthur and horses and this open world, but I really love how you as a community have come together to share your thoughts and inspiration on this game and the open world. You know, for me, it's not a game. It's more than a game. And I suspect that you share in that sentiment with me in more ways than one. We'll do this again, friends. And Arthur, John, and I will see you soon. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Come on, girl. Well done. Three, ten. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob.